and welcome back to David's Gift. Well in this video today I'm going to share with you an aha moment. One of those moments that just stops you dead in your tracks and it's like how come I didn't get this before type of moment. It was very public by the way too so that was even more exciting. But before I share with that with you I want to talk to you a little bit about a new product we're going to be launching on David's Gift website in the next few weeks. You know, I've received many emails from people over the last 12 months since the launch of David's Gift. And each email I've tried to answer individually. But what's happening, what I'm seeing when I go back and look at these emails, is there's a theme that runs through them. Do you know, most people want to know the same things, just at different stages in their child's development. And so I wanted to come up with a way in which I could share all that knowledge with you. And not only that, do you know, there's lots of stories about our journey which I don't really want to share with just everybody I really want to share it with people who have already read the book and who are on our the same journey as we were on I don't want to open it up to kind of just the world because they're kind of private so what we've done is we've come up with a series of videos and they're going to be about five to ten minutes long and each video will have individual questions answered anything from how we created a vision for our family, how we stayed true to our beliefs, how we helped David survive bullying, how we um, managed to, to navigate the school system, how we taught him how to love, how we taught him how to um, interact with others. Those tiny little things that burrow down deep into each topic. You know, I can just write about them, but you know, I was very aware too when I wrote the book, it's very difficult to actually explain what happened. It really is only in a situation such as this, either in a seminar type situation or a recording as a DVD just like this that I can really explain to you exactly what we meant. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that at the end of now. I'm gonna tell you about the aha moment. So yesterday I was speaking at a function and there were about 50 people in the room and men and women. And after I'd done my talk, there was a fair amount of time for questioning. It was supposed to only be about 15 minutes, but we were running almost over time by at least 30 minutes by this stage when a gentleman put up his hand and he asked me a question. And he said, how did you teach your child the emotion of love? And it stopped me dead in my tracks. And, and for a moment, I, I couldn't answer it. And then all of a sudden, it was like the floodgates opened and in came this incredible kind of knowing, this aha moment. I said, you know, I didn't teach him how to love. I showed him how to love. I said, when I made a decision that we had to become the people we wanted David to become in that was the decision also to work on our relationship. And for our not only David, but my other two daughters to see what real love and a real relationship actually was. And I went on to explain, you know, what happens with children, especially on the autism spectrum, they come into this world almost like a clean slate. They're just open. They have un little understanding of emotion. What they do respond to and what they do see is what happens in their home. And it was really important for me and for us to create in our home a loving environment so he became comfortable with that. So he saw how a good relationship works, how he saw how love actually works. So when he steps, steps outside that parameter of love, it doesn't feel right. That was the difference. And it was when I realized that, that I realized how powerful that decision I made back over 10 years ago when I realized that what was the purpose of being successful in this life if the one thing I couldn't do was teach my child how to be happy and how to be successful. And so it's incredibly important that we as the parents of a child on the autism spectrum get it right. We need to get it right. We need to become the people we want our children to become. We can't teach them about love. We can't tell them about love. We can only make love the only thing they understand. And that has to come from us, the parents. It's nobody else's responsibility to do that. It was one of those aha moments that made me realize how critical it is on this journey, how critical 
for us as our autism autistic spectrum child's parents to get it to make sure we are authentic genuine human beings who know what a loving relationship is because right in the palm of our hands is the future of a generation of children because if we don't show them how to love who's going to teach them so the DVD series I'm talking about talks about those topics you see it's not just strategies it's not just systems it's not just therapies it's creating a life for your child and you hold the boundaries I look forward to talking to you soon and my next video will be more detail about the brand new product coming up with David's gift bye for now